does it take for a company with a currently underperforming stock to turn itself around? That is the big question when it comes to Ethan Allen Interiors, ETH, a network of roughly 300 design centers that provide high-quality home decor, design, and furnishings. You're looking at some of the stuff right now. Ethan Allen has been struggling for some time. Even before the whole uh, the home furnishings group started getting pounded six weeks ago, part of the sea change I keep telling you about. However, while this group is still out of favor within the Wall Street fashion show, Ethan Allen has been working to turn itself around by revamping many of its products. In the first phase of this turn, the company launched more than 600 new products. Phase two beginning this month as it rolls out its new Romance Classics collection. By the time this plan is complete sometime this fall, around 70% of Ethan Allen's merchandise will have been updated. Is that enough to get this stock back to $32 where it was earlier this year, seven points above where it went out today? When Ethan Allen reported its most recent quarter a week and a half ago, the company met Wall Street's estimates, but that was only after the company had already pre-announced the downside. So the quarter wasn't particularly exciting to Wall Street analysts. Still, the stock is inexpensive, trades at 14 times earnings, solid 2.3% yield, and the dividend had just recently been raised. Let's dig deeper into this potential turnaround in progress with Farooq Kathari. He's the chairman, president, and CEO of Ethan Allen Interiors. Find out more about where his company's headed. Mr. Kathari, welcome back to Mad Money. Jim, always good to see you. All right, Fruit, is this resonating? Because I know that you said in your most recent quarter in the conference call that you had to be more aggressive in promotions because you were concerned about inventory. Well, we are in the process of really repositioning, reinventing our brand. Okay. You talked about the stock, where it is, and what, what needs to, what, what we have to do to right. have the stock go up. Well, you know, at Ethan Allen, the highest award we give is called the Golden Kite Award which is that a person, we give it to a person who flies the kite high and the tail follows. Okay. So the, the stock profits are the tail. We are want to get our kite high. To get that kite high, we are really reinventing the company because today it's a different world. You know, we've been around for 83 years. Right. Well, I mean, you make it very, uh, in your presentation, to make a point, listen, it's time you have to do digital advertising. You actually talk about users versus owners. The users are Kindle owners. The owners are book owners. You're trying to appeal to the book people. Are there enough of them, sir? Well, you know, this is a different world. There's no question about right. it. Today, the technology is changing the world. Right. So we are, we have 300 design centers, we have 1,500 interior designers. You know, we do question, should we be providing this great personal service? I believe so. But the reason is this, that on one hand, consumers say, from all the research we read, mm -hmm. they don't want service, but they say we would love to have good personal service. Right. Now, there's a transition going on in terms of the world, in terms of technology. Our objective is to position Ethan Allen as a provider of great offerings, well, I call it under this livable luxury. Mm -hmm. uh, I, we have a great American classic brand. We have 50, 300 design centers, 1,500 designers, and the biggest challenge we've also taken is we are bringing back manufacturing right here in North America. Right. Now, when you add design centers, how does that necessarily impact the earnings per share? Well, you know, it's a question of looking at short term, it's looking at longer term. Certainly, the design centers are there to increase our sales. And when right. we increase our sales, uh, take a look at our business model. Our business model, you mentioned the fact that our yield is at over 2%. Right, because you've raised twice. You mentioned the fact that we just ended up uh, paying down our debt. Right. We also announced that we're going to buy 3 million of our shares. Now, Jim, take a look at, and one has to look at, and you've been, you know, I've been, I've been right. here for a long time. In the last few years, we have repurchased 18 million of our shares. We have given out over $350 million of dividends. We have invested over $750 million in our business. Now, we are making tremendous amount of changes. Now, in the short term, it has impacted our earnings. Right. And it it, that reflects on the stock but price. Do you think that that's in part because of the transition, or is it not resonating yet? I think it's, it's a combination. Okay. I think it's it's a, it is. You know, the fact is, today, we are in the process of just now, you know, we are just, we just sent this, sending right. this book out. I mean, we're giving this book out when people come to our design centers. This book is a 328-page book, and I had it uh, done. It's all in-house, mm -hmm. giving the Ethan Allen DNA. And the Ethan Allen DNA is, you know, any time you change, it's, our, it's a classics. But a classics that's livable, classics okay. that's fashionable. 
So we have just sent out a direct mail. In fact, we're going to send it out this week, okay. inviting 4 million people to come and get a complimentary copy. Well, do you think that will increase the number of, of wholesale signs, retail signs? Because I'm waiting for a bit of a bump up here, sir. We've no, got to get a bump up. No, we, I am too. There, there, you know, today we, we need to get more traffic in right. our design centers. And let's keep in mind, traffic in stores has been going down. Right. The reason is that more and more people are using the website as the sh that's where they they are window shopping. Right. Now we are increasing our business also online, but relatively small compared right. now to Right. You're, you're a store-based company. But we idea. also want to increase. You know, and what we have done in the last few years is we have made it so that it is seamless whether a customer buys from right. online, goes to our store. Because, you know, furniture has to be delivered. We deliver it in white gloves service into their homes. And right. that is done by our retail network. All right. Well, look, I'm going to wait to see how this product line sells. I know so far uh, it, you're not that happy yet. Uh, we've got some more things coming, obviously. And we've got a well, phase three coming later in the fall. That's Brute Kathari. the chairman, president, and CEO of Ethan Allen. You're being paid to wait. You've got a good dividend. But it could turn later this year. They have money's back in the break. Booyah! Jim Cramer here from Mad Money. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube. Click here to subscribe and get the jump on my exclusives with CEOs, plus market news, investing advice, and a whole lot more.